do a quick video here on changing brakes and you've probably seen a lot of brake changing videos so it's really not um, anything revolutionary but I can tell you this is a 20, uh, 2017 um, Dodge Journey and I've had this car, it has about 40,000 miles on it but it was a fleet vehicle and I think it was sitting around for quite some time. So if you can see right here, there's a lot of rust on here and a lot of, um, a lot of you know, deep gouges as well as just built up rust. And so these rotors, I would say, are pretty shot. I've seen people do um, online where they just like kind of resurface it like or, or sand it or whatever. For the cost of rotors, I don't see any sense in doing that. You might as well replace them. You can see where the, the tire was stuck on there. It took a little bit of effort to get that off. But, um, you know, as, I, as I'm saying here, there's, there's deep gouges in here as well as buildup of rust from when this car was just sitting around for a while. So when I'm stepping on the brakes, I'm getting a lot of vibration and therefore I'm just going to change out the rotors. I think it costs like 25, 30 bucks for a set of rotors. Why take the chance? Tires and brakes are probably the most important thing on your vehicle. So um, may as well change them out. So um, all you had to do is take the tire off um, obviously, take them off in a crisscross pattern, like that. Um, jack, you know, while that's down, jack the car up, pull the wheel off. Then here, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the back here, and you're going to um, disconnect the lower uh, bracket, the lower bolt here, okay? And then from there, you're going to lift this whole caliper up. You can take both of them and take the whole thing off and hang it, but make sure you don't let this dangle because of this hose here, because you can damage the hose but hang it up out of the way, and then this rotor should float right off. There are some cars that have screws that hold the rotor on, maybe like here and here kind of thing. This car doesn't, so that means it's gonna be much easier, I believe. Let me know what your thoughts are, especially if you're a mechanic, would you resurface these or would you just kind of dump them? What I wanna show is if you can see here, my brake pads on both sides have plenty of meat left on them. Um, as I was saying, it's in really bad shape. So um, I'm gonna pull out the pads and make sure that they're not glazed or anything, but essentially, you know, there's plenty of meat on these pads. So I don't think the pads need to be replaced at all. It's probably just the rotors that need to be replaced. So basically I uh, pulled the pin over here, um, from there, right into the back here, and that allowed me to lift this guy up, lift the caliper up, and then be able to inspect what I'm looking at here. If you were just changing the pads, it's as simple as, um, you know, moving that, that clip right there that you see on the top, and that should just pop it right out um, lengthwise. Let's see if I can do that with my hand. Um, just push this clip down, and, and then from there, I can look at it, and it looks fine. I don't think it's glazed at all, but I can always sand it a, a taste just to take off a little bit of the extra outside layer if I need to. But as you can see, the groove that's there in the middle, right here below my finger, um, that groove tells you how much meat there is. Once that's kind of worn out, that's when you really need to change the pad. So plenty left on this pad. There's probably a little bit less on the inside pad. So I got the rotor off. I thought I had to take this middle thing hub off, but I did not. It's actually around here, but the collar just looked so much the same. I thought that was part of it. But anyway, so here is the condition of it on this side. The other side was even 10 times worse. So um, as you can see, I don't see any sense of redoing this or doing anything with it other than tossing it. So I even think like right here, there's a little piece uh, kind of cut out or whatever, a little, little too much wear there. But anyway, so this is the old rotor. And then by contrast, there's the new one. And one of the things that I've read too, and, and I, I don't know that I've done this in the past, is take some brake cleaner and clean it off because um, they put some oil on out of the box so get that oil off um, before mounting it on so uh, you know I'll do that get my tire back on there and I'm done um, like I say just put, obviously put re reverse engineer put the um, caliper back on and uh, good to go and then do the same thing on the other side 